What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Alexander Usyk. Alexander was on Sky Sports, of course, him along with his best friend, Vasily Lomachenko, and they were talking to both of these guys about their upcoming bouts. And what I want to focus on is Alexander Usyk, and they asked him who would he prefer to fight out of Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz. And Alexander Usyk simply replied, replied Joshua in Wembley. <laughs> he would prefer Joshua over to Ruiz because he wants, he thinks it would be a harder, more challenging fight to fight Joshua than Ruiz. Now, it's funny that he would say that due to Ruiz already beating Joshua. This is just another example of triangle theories that a lot of people don't believe in. I don't believe in triangle theories. They don't make sense just because Ruiz beats Joshua doesn't mean Usyk won't have an easy time with Ruiz when he would, would, would he would have with Anthony Joshua. Okay. Anthony Joshua is a big guy, strong guy. You know, it would be challenging for Alexander Usyk with his size to fight someone like Joshua versus Ruiz. And I can understand him wanting that. You know, um, I think the money has a lot to do with it. Not a lot. Some to do with it. Because I think Usyk, I think Lomachenko, these guys are a throwback breed of fighters. They want to challenge themselves. They set out objectives and they do what they must to achieve those goals. Kind of reminds me of a soldier, you know, like a special forces soldier that has a, a certain objective you know, and this follows out orders. Because if you can remember when he beat, knocked out Tony Bayou, he explained his game plan like someone like a soldier or some kind of special operative. You know what I mean? He was like, it wasn't in the plan of my objectives or goals to do this at this particular time. I went into infiltrate, not to attack the first two or three rounds. And that's exactly what he did. He systematically seen what Bellew could do. And Bellew did a lot, a lot. Bellew impressed me with what he wanted to do. Bellew was um, really determined and he gave everything he had um, in that fight, I believe, until Alexander turned it on. He turned up another notch and he got Bellew out of there, officially retiring Bell you. Now, how would he do against a guy like Joshua? I'm not sure. I think uh, the power would have a lot to do with anybody, including Tyson Fury. Maybe him more of size than power, but Joshua and Wilder definitely would be the power because these are bigger guys. But it's like this. With skill and special skill, that special fighter, okay, and that special skill set, you can obtain and complete those objectives just like Usyk wants. That's why I'm loving how the heavyweight division is going to be. See, a lot of people are Joshua wins or bust, but this is boxing. There's life after Joshua. There's life after defeat, okay? In other words, if Ruiz beats Joshua in the rematch, Ruiz will then have a mandatory and it will be Usyk. And a lot of people overlook Usyk simply because we haven't seen him showcased as a heavyweight yet. So he's easy to forget. Out of sight is, is out of mind. A lot of times when you, you stop hearing from a fighter, you know, you know, people stop talking about a particular fighter. They just, you know, people take their eyes, their target, their sights, their interests off that fighter, but I have not. Usyk is still very much a threat to the heavyweight division, and he is like that sleeping giant, the guy that came there from the WBO, the undisputed cruiserweight champion. Something, and he reminds me of Terrence Crawford and the things that he's already done, right? I think Crawford's done more, but it's similar on the way they have promoted themselves um, by what they've already done in the sport. And Usyk, 
I'm very curious to see what he does in the heavyweight division. But he does want the toughest fights. This is, like I said again, a rare breed of fighter. That's why they are on the pound for pound list. You know, Lomachenko is higher up, of course, or maybe considered one or two. But these are the kind of fighters I want to see. That's why I'm excited. I want to see these guys fight the best. Okay. And I hope politics don't get in the way, but it's worth mentioning. You guys tell me what you think about Usyk and Joshua, about Usyk wanting to fight Joshua or Usyk fighting Ruiz. Leave your comments below. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.